let's get you up to speed on Ad History. So you can access Ad History using either of these two tabs. So Keyword Ad History is going to allow you to enter a keyword and get all of the domains that have advertised on that term during the last 12 months, or head directly to Domain Ad History. That shows you similar results when you enter a domain, but you get the list of keywords that they advertised on during the year. So we're going to go the keyword route. Let's click here, and using this search bar, we're going to enter our term. Let's play with concert tickets. So this list includes all of the domains, shown here, that have advertised on the term concert tickets during the last 12 months. Now actually if I scroll down, I'll show you, it's a pretty long list. These domains toward the top are the ones that have advertised the most frequently and those that rank the highest on this keyword each month. Just hovering over tickets now, you'll see that it's ranked second out of 14. Rank number one, rank number two, rank number three. Ticket Liquidator had been ranking number one, number one, number three. So those are your most dominant domains at the top. The Ticket Liquidator, you'll see how their color shifted from a dark pink to a light pink. Let me click on their ad and I'll show you why. That color change means that the ads they ran in March were the same ads that they ran in April and all the way through August, and then they switched it over in September. So the color change indicates a change in their ad. I opened up Ticket Liquidator's ads at the bottom. They were using concert tickets, concert tickets cheap, check our prices, save 10% or more. Now they stuck with that for some time. They were running the same ad, and then comes September, it switched to cheap price tickets, check our prices, save 10% or more. So it's a really minor change, but this is my key takeaway. Once they made that change in September, and watch the gray, they held on all the way through February. What I get out of it is the word cheap is an important element here. If you're advertising on the term concert tickets, make that a word you use in your ad copy. Now StubHub tells a different story. Just looking at their color changes, almost every other month tells me that they've been alternating ads but we can get a lot more specific than that. So we'll click on their ad and open it down below. It goes from concert tickets, front row, floor balcony, and more, to buy concert tickets, great seats still available. Back to buy concert tickets, but now they're bringing in some copy from February, front row, floor, balcony, and more. And in May, buy concert tickets, great seats still available. So it looks like they've taken two ads, changed up the copy, mixed it up, and turned it into four different ads. Now that continues to go on. This could be tough to track. Here's a shortcut for you. Right here you can export StubHub's ad variations to Excel. Just click on this green box. And that puts the variations into a spreadsheet. It's a good option to have, but let's say you want to export everything every domain's variation on their ads for concert tickets. We'll go up here to the top, and you can export all ad variations either to an Excel or CSV format. All right, let's switch gears. You can easily move from keyword ad history into domain ad history by just clicking on a domain. The grid pattern in itself tells a story. We're seeing the evolution of a domain that really increased its dedication to its existing keywords and ramped up its total keyword list. Also, one more thing to point out, just like with the domain, when you click on a keyword, we'll show you a quick glimpse of the stats here in the ad box header. Now you can treat domain history the same way you work in keyword history. The color changes from one month to another in a box means that the ad or headline has changed. You can hover to see how the domain ranked on that keyword at the time. And of course, clicking the box opens the ads at the bottom. 
My suggestion for your next video is to watch the 10 best keywords and find out what lessons we take from the domain itself to understand why the domain considers the top keywords its best ones.